Matthew Swinnerton from Event Santa Cruz, and I'm here with Andrew. Andrew, what is your company name? Emotion. Okay, so what do you do? I'm a media producer and an archivist. I basically help people tell stories digitally, mm -hmm. whether that be stories of things that happened a long time ago or ways that somebody wants to tell their brand or artwork and kind of spread the message. So like you're archiving like their old information and putting it like in a film or like so you know it's interesting I do a lot of different things which can be confusing sometimes when I try to explain it to people uh, but on the one hand you know digital archives managing digital archives okay, that could yeah. be anything from organizing hard drives to making things accessible um, I also do media production and I do a lot of online media social media distribution so okay. kind of how I see those three areas of archives media production and social distribution um, you know let's say there's a company and they've been recording a lot of lectures so I go and help organize and make use of those lectures in a way that even if we can't publish the lecture from start to finish you can through some creative media production turn it into maybe a short evergreen video that says hey here's a big idea here's why it's important and then a message important you know relative to our brand yeah so I've been finding these ways to kind of combine these worlds um, and I of course I do work that's just exclusively one or the other like I'm helping a friend uh, do a book who's an artist and I'm just helping go through his archive to find his images, you know, okay. so it, I, I don't just do everything combined. I do bits and pieces of things on their own as well. So how did this like all come about where this is what you do? I mean, this is like a very niche kind of yeah mm -hmm. thing. Like, I mean, there's some people like, okay, we film, we do this. Like, you have like this kind of, it's like three kind of things that are melded into one in a way. Um, how did you get into this world? <laughs> it's a long story. Okay, we have an hour, so <laughs> yeah. No. I hate to. I, hate, I always say make a long story short, but I'll try to make a long story short. Uh, Basically, I've been interested in media production and film my whole life, and, and very early on wanted to go to film school. And at the same time that I started going to film school, I uh, was kind of aware of the counterculture, this hippie thing, and I'd only really heard of it through the internet. So I'm in film school, learning about movies, uh, and I started going to basically hippie electronic shows. And I right. met a lot of people that were like the modern day, you know, iteration of the Grateful Dead family, and it just blew my mind. And I and I had a hard time reconciling all these kind of creatives and musicians and people that lived this nomadic expressive lifestyle with this you know more uh, very strict uh, entertainment industry oriented uh, lifestyle that I was working towards so I moved to Hollywood I did uh, about a year and a half's worth of work in more traditional industry stuff in Hollywood but I felt really kind of uh, disappointed with what I saw as a lot of mainstream um, yeah, I don't know if propaganda is the right term, but just kind of mainstream shallow stuff. Mm -hmm. And it, instead, at the same time that I was doing this, I met this amazing community of artists who, again, I'd been looking at through the internet, and I just started hanging out with them. And very immediately, it, it became clear to me that following my passion and following, helping other people fulfill their passions is kind of what my path was. So I spent a few years working with artists, and I kind of took a break from, or I thought I was going to take a break from doing media. And I did everything from manage archives to build and manage websites websites and social media to run art exhibitions and do mobile art galleries at you know festivals and Burning Man and stuff like that and through all of that I got back into media production and found myself more and more kind of behind the camera and creating media so to make a long story yeah. short I, I find myself interested in all these different subcultures and pockets and, and to me the thing that I'm most interested in is kind of preserving history uh, preserving culture preserving things that, that matter um, mm. maybe things that aren't necessarily mainstream accessible mm. so all of these different things that I've done are kind of ways that I've found my interests and in alignment with other people's needs and yeah, yeah, it's kind of turned into, you know, I, I do this one project with that person, that project with that person, and this kind of worldview starts building of how these seemingly separate, unrelated things are all kind of They're connected together. So, yeah, that's super cool. So what uh, kind of question I ask a lot, but like, what excites you about this? Like when you wake up in the morning, like what is something that like, I'm going to do this and I'm excited because this? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. I guess it's a weird thing to say, but what, what really excites me is is the, the possibility that in some way, shape, or form, uh, we as like a human species can alleviate suffering, at least mm -hmm. you know suffering from economic or socio yeah socioeconomic stuff, so and poverty and, and homelessness and stuff. And I feel like we live at this time where there's this window of opportunity through technology, creativity, and, and mindfulness and all this stuff. We could we can help 
you know, lift up all of humanity. And uh, whether or not any moment or any day I'm waking up and moving onto a project that's related to that, I'm extremely excited about the, the hope that I feel that the stuff, not just that I'm working on, but that I find myself involved in and, and people that I know are doing is kind of moving the needle forward to build a better world for everybody. Nice. So if somebody wants to take advantage of your services, wants to, you know, they want to archive something, they would need to be same, same filmed, they have a, a show, they need an event, whatever that they, that they need your services on, where do they go for, um, to connect with you? Amotionmedia.com. Okay. How do you spell that? A-M-O-T-I-O-N-M-E. D I A. I think I spelled it properly. A that motion. Was, I'm sorry. I really put you on the spot on that one. It's the word motion with A in front of it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, and, I, and you can also find me. Uh, I I have a personal website, andrewjokeefe.com, and I'm okay. on Facebook, Andrew J. O'Keefe the uh, second. All my handles everywhere are Andrew J. O'Keefe. Great. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications, because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.